So the next question is from Melanie in Sao Paulo. And she says, my name is Melanie and I'm from Sao Paulo, Brazil. And I love your podcast. It's my escapism from my problems in real life. But I do have a question for you. Do you have any stunt doubles in Harry Potter? And if you did, which scenes were they? We had a couple for certain different scenes, but the, the main stunts scenes that you remember. So a lot of stunt guys are there for not just for being thrown, you know, explosions or things like that, but literally just showing you how to move safely around the set and all that kind of stuff. But our main predominant one that always stays in my head is in the fourth film, The Goblet of Fire, when Fred and George put their name in The Goblet of Fire, there's a scene when they get thrown back. And we rehearsed that in real life where we got flung up on a, a jerk rig, so they literally like, put a um, harness on us and throw us backwards. And we land, we, we practiced landing and all that stuff. But they decided that they were going to have the have Fred and George land on the floor. And did you know, it's the only time the floor in the Great Hall has been changed. So it oh went from God. being the hard stone in that area to a softer stone. It, I say it, it was like a crash mat, but a crash mat that you have in, in school. So it's actually probably harder than concrete in real life. And we had Gordon and we had Bradley. And first of all, it was weird because they looked more like us than we looked like us. So I remember watching it, but having a bit of an out-of-body experience. Well, they both went up and then ended up falling backwards. And they did this two or three times, and it looked a bit oof, but they, you know, they landed okay. And then they said, we'll do it again. Went up and did it again, and Bradley actually dislocated his shoulder, his elbow when he landed. And it was very, oh, wow. And so that was the closest we came to an injury, but... He still, but like the pro, he still managed to finish the scene. And when they yell cut, that's when he was a bit out. A lot of the other stunt guys as well was when, if there's ever any dueling or anything like that, they'll be the guy showing you how to move, um, getting out the way of things. So a stunt man does a lot more than just throw himself down some stairs. It's a shame that they didn't put it in the final cut, but we would we have the Quidditch World Cup scene when we're trying to get out or whatever when all the Death Eaters rock up. Um, and there's all and it's all fire kicking off and stuff like that. Do you remember I, they got me to push someone through a table? Yeah. Like there was there was one of the guys just hovering around there and they said, Right, just throw him. So like I threw him and he went crashing through this table and it looked really cool. But it never made the I guess they didn't think that was quite in George Weasley's character to go all I think Undertaker was, on someone. I so I think it was adding the uh, the wrestling commentary at the end of it probably didn't help. Maybe. Don't go, you're ready to make me.